Hey, happy, 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 beautiful day. Dr. Bob Rakowski here out of Houston, Texas. To vaccinate or not to vaccinate, that is the question. Um, and, you know, is there value to getting an illness in terms of lifetime immunity? And, and by the way, that seems to be the case with many, many, many viruses. So interesting thought there. But shocking statistics really for the world. This is macrotrends.net. This gentleman posted it and I grabbed it immediately. Um, so notice in 2018 to 2019, the death rate actually went up by 0.440%. Notice in 2020, the world rate death rate also went up 0.44%, the exact same as 2019. So can anybody name the pandemic that was responsible for that increased death rate uh, in 2019. Well, it's actually not a new pandemic. It's a pandemic of illness. It's a pandemic of making convenient addictive choices rather than good choices. You know, Kelly Brownell, Yale University says food in this country is engineered to be addictive. Uh, and the things that they put in addictive are not quite good for health, mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, social, or financial, not for you anyways, uh, or impactful health. So think about that for a moment. But this was projected, right? So when you look, we've been on an upward trend since somewhere in the late 1960s. Now, they didn't give exact breakdown like that, but so I took 2000 to 1950, cut it in half, cut it in half again, cut it in half again. So it looks like it's around 1969-ish. Uh, and there's some things that happened around there, like a lot more widespread vaccinations. But also then look at the drop in death rate from infectious disease. Uh, it peaked out somewhere around 1955. Uh, now, you know, how many vaccines are we giving now compared to 1969? We'll go ahead and look that up. And interestingly enough, it did not drop death rate from infectious disease. So improved sanitation, hygiene, and nutrition are the reasons that people were given for not dying from infectious disease. So I have to ask you that. Are we cleaner today or exposed to more toxins? Are we more nourished or less nourished? The Global Nutrition Report says we are all profoundly malnourished. And then this data is interesting, right? Corona vaccines sending hundreds with an S to ER according to US government reporting system. Now that's just US. We're one of a couple hundred countries in the world, hundreds in the US. Uh, and keep in mind, human clinical trials were either not done or severely fast-tracked here, right? So this is the human clinical trial. So if we decide to get a vaccine, I want you to look at this. Ganoderma lucidum, you can look it up. Ganoderma lucidum reduces toxicity. So the first two studies you see there, one's for the heart. We don't want our heart toxic. One's for the liver. We don't want our liver toxic. Uh, there's a bunch for the brain. You don't want our brain toxic. I'll show you that uh, right now, a couple of them, right? So if you look up this PubMed study, PubMed 2999-1712, it, MPTP was something that was a, a drug that was used to induce Parkinson's in the animal model. Well, interestingly enough, when they gave them Ganoderma, they didn't get Parkinson's. Carbon tetrachloride caused liver failure. Ganoderma prevented liver failure. Um, STZ was a chemotherapy that they stopped using for pancreatic cancer because it killed the cells of the pancreas that made insulin, the beta cells of the islets of Langerhans. Ganoderma preserved that and prevented diabetes. Uh, and then even for pregnant women, it's safe. And these were pregnant mice. They were given a horrible toxin that caused neural tube defects in nearly 80%. But with a single dose of Ganoderma, it dropped to 20%. So could this potentially protect against the coronavirus vaccine? Hey, it hasn't been studied. But there's also 231 studies on Ganoderma and the immune system in PubMed. I thought I copied that one, but I didn't. But let's look at the med medical literature. So molecular mimicry refers to a significant similarity between certain pathogenic elements contained in a vaccine and they essentially cause autoimmune disease. Now I want you to look at that 295 PubMed 2950343 2018 study 
they said, wow, they're causing uh, autoimmunity. And one researcher said that 21% of people uh, would be vulnerable to autoimmunity from this vaccine. And by the way, some cases can be so severe uh, that it has a really bad uh, molecular mimicry. By the way, they also call out the HPV vaccine. So I wanna look at this. So notice that this journal Internal Medicine said none of the estimated incidence rates were significantly elevated for uh, autoimmunity except Hashimoto's, which by the way, is the most common form of hypothyroidism. It's an autoimmune thyroid condition in the developmental world. But now look at this, HPV vaccine was known as to, uh, or suspected to increase autoimmunity by molecular mimicry. This I believe says it, but look at the conclusions from that article. I ask you to look at that. In the results, they said it increased autoimmune thyroid by 1.29x, so that's 29% increase. And it says no autoimmune safety signal was found in women vaccinated with HPV. So within the article, they contradict themselves. Pretty fascinating there. Back to Ganoderma. Ganoderma is used to treat and or prevent autoimmune disease. Again, a 2018 PubMed study. You can look that one up, 299-53350. Uh, later on tonight, I'll have a, sorry, tomorrow night, I'll have a Zoom uh, on vaccine-induced autoimmune disease. I actually realized I put an error in the slide. I was so excited about this. Uh, tonight and Tuesdays, Ask the Doctor, uh, we will talk about Ask the Doctor questions from a natural perspective. And as in terms of Ganoderma, Ganoderma <clears throat> Get back to the person that referred you to this Zoom. You know, then get back to me and we'll hook you up hmm. with the world's best. I don't have an answer for that. Is there something else I can help with? I must have hit Siri. But you know what? There, there are definitely things I have an answer with, right? Uh, so get back to the person who referred you to this Zoom or to me if it's you and let's make the world better. And as I like to close, I'm Dr. Bob Rakowski, absolutely knowing that we can all be happy, healthy, and successful.